is good. I write what's good. I might get to it. Not out the woods, so bro, I got to do it. Be a monster. That's why my mantra is being onslaught from the long start. All right, YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Jerese back at it with another episode of Real Talk. And today's topic a two week old video from the daily wrap up True with Dr. Umar Johnson. And to help me break down this fuckery, I got the most ignorant nigga I know. Say what's <laughs> up to the people, PJ. <laughs> what's, what's up, y'all? Uh, what's up? What's up? I'm glad to be back on the, be back on the show. Oh, been a minute man. since I've been on here. Yeah, so in case you don't know, this nigga is like fucking Riley, right? I'm Huey, this nigga is fucking Riley. I'm Yen, this nigga is Yang. And then, just just to, you know, just to clear it out, right? PJ, we gonna compare and contrast, right? Just so they know how we are polar opposites, right? Yeah. PJ, how many kids do I have? Zero. How many baby mamas <laughs> do I got? Zero. <laughs> how many black females have you seen me deal with? Quite a uh, probably about three, maybe two <laughs> of, of what I've heard of. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, a joke, man. It. <laughs> and then, PJ, feel free to and answer then, if you want to. Do you have children, sir? Yes, I do. I got three of them niggas. Do you have any ratchet baby mamas? Uh, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the so the other one ain't ratchet. <laughs> The other one ain't ratchet. She pretends to be ratchet, but I'd be like, look, bro, chill out, nigga. You ain't, you ain't grew up in that community, bro. Chill out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Just to make sure I know which one you're talking about. You're talking about the Jolly Green Giant, right? No, I'm talking about the white one. Oh, okay. 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 About... <laughs> well, ain't they technically both white? Because ain't the Jolly Green Giant a half-breed? Oh, yeah. She is a half-breed. Well, both of them. They both didn't really grow up in that. You know what? Fuck it. No, nah, I ain't got no rat. I got two ratchet wannabe baby mamas. There we go. <laughs> Got they didn't even grow up. They didn't even grow up around. Oh God! They want to. They know about the culture, but didn't grow up around this shit. But yeah, one of them. One of them thinks she a part of the culture because she date black men, and the other one thinks she a part of the culture because she have that because she a happy, but is basically white raised. <laughs> So that's just to give y'all a little bit of perspective, right? Because everybody be like, oh, you a coon and you hate black people as a whole. Nah, there's some niggas nah. I fuck with. <laughs> there is. But, like, and we all in the same agenda, though, that we all just don't really like niggas like that half the goddamn time. Okay, we don't like niggas that do nigga shit for no fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put that out there, too. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, just, just so y'all know, we go to raves. We fucking turn up with white people. We don't hang out with niggas hang out. <laughs> we go to we go to we go to the good parties where it won't get shot up or where <laughs> we don't have to worry about the police busting on the front door. How oh, about man. that? Or or niggas getting uh crushed and shit at Travis Scott concerts. That part too. Shit. Like Oh man. I, hey, we go to the parties that they know how to act at. <laughs> shit, mosh pits and all this other shit, right? Yes, sir. And then when we march and we knock somebody on the ground, we'll pick them back up. Not even stumble on them. We <laughs> oh, just, oh, wait, hold up. Let me pick this man back up so I can knock him back on, <laughs> on his ass again. Oh, man. But, and yeah, I, today's topic. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, today's topic, good old Umar Johnson. Oh, man, because this man is a simp, panderer, I don't know, what the fuck. But. For some reason, this nigga had the bright idea to say it's black men's fault that they love convicts and gangbangers and thug niggas and all this other weird shit. Go ahead, PJ. Go ahead. Bro, like, this man, I feel like he's like, what was that other black dude that, that, uh, Cornell X? No. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. So, like, you like an off brand Cornell X, kind of. Yeah, that, that nigga in Houston that be ambulance chasing, like, uh, freaking Al Sharpton and all them. Oh, man. But don't worry, we about to get into it, but. Hold up. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play a little snippet, right? Just a little, um, a little one minute and 40, what? 50 minute clip, a one minute, 50 second clip, uninterrupted. I ain't gonna say a word. I'm gonna mute my mic. I'm gonna mute. I'm going to mute PJ, too, and I'm going to just let the clip play, and it's going to definitively prove 
that literally most of black women prefer thugs and or criminals and it ain't shit you can do about it but here let me mute my mic up Sacks. Okay. We have to be and held strong, accountable for their poor selection. No, you have to be held accountable. No, you have to be held accountable because they have a poor selection. So basically, you would go and write a prisoner. You would scroll all the way down to where it says view all pen pal profiles. You would click that. You would scroll down. Then you could put in all of what you would like. And then once you do that, you press search. And you'll scroll down and you'll see prisoners. You'll click one. And then you'll scroll down and where it says institutional email, that'll be where, where you contact them at. And then at the top next to their name, there has their number. And that's what you, you would use to type in to like write them or and that's really about it. It's really simple. You're saying you're selecting a poor mate. And what I'm saying is they don't have much to select one. So, of course, you're going to end up with a poor mate. This is the shit I'm talking about, and it ain't even her. It's the people in the comments. I saw comments in there talking about this is my sign. No, it's not. Stop having babies out of your selfish wants. Why would you knowingly traumatize a child by having a child with a man that's actively incarcerated? If she's picking Pookie and Ray Ray instead of you're making junk. her a scapegoat. No, she's For picking a scapegoat. Why is there even a Pookie in the selection? If we never allow Pookie to develop, she would not have a Pookie. Dr. Umar was. Bro, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Oh my god. Bro, black women are done. <laughs> These hoes are done. Bro, and like I swear to God. They wanna make it like these bitches chose to go be with Pookies and Ray Rays, nigga. Like we don't make I, I don't get how we make women choose the type of men that they wanna be with. Clearly you are holding a gun up to these bitches' heads and making them pick a thug nigga. A, dr a drug dealer, a scammer. <laughs> oh, yes. I remember the other one that we did when it was like, oh, I'd rather be with the scammers and the drug dealers. They know how to treat their women. No, bitch. Like, you know, damn well, once they put their hands on you, you're going to be having a conniption fucking outside fit. Outside of Premiere. Oh, so God. under a file hold menu, on, okay, you've got an export quick, just for the, media. Just for people. When we do export media, here's uh, where it gets kind of, oh, my God, what do I pick? What do I do? Dealer. Just, just because, just because. Oh, just because. The nine to five guy, oh. or a perk head drug dealer with money. Oh, um, perk head. A perk head drug dealer with money. Perk drug dealer with money. <laughs> I'm with the perk head with the money. A drag dealer. I like drug dealers. <laughs> uh, America, I'm this done. is. Yeah. I'm America, done. this is black women. <laughs> like, it's literally in the put in the bread in the pudding. Like, I'm these done. bitches out here, they rather have this type of nigga than a nine to five. Oh like, God. and that's not I'm even the original nine video. Five and not worrying about how to go to jail or get shot because I'm dealing drugs and shit. That's not even the original video, bro. And then, like, bro, it's still like, what is this? And like, I need a drag dealer and then a scammer, then the nine of five. I want the scammer first, then the drug dealer, then the nine of five. They like the fast money. Shout out to Dr. Umar, bro. Bro, <laughs> uh, like this nigga really, like his dumbass is really just like, hey, we, oh us, us black men are the reason why. Oh. The women are going out there, but this nigga, this nigga's doing whole videos to random women, and they out here just saying they want these type of niggas. Oh, it ain't god. us. Oh god, but nah, like bro, I think the best part is that dudes like him will flame me for literally saying I don't want to deal with black women because this is the culture and this is the mainstream mindset of most black females. Like, and when I say most, I mean like ninety nine point nine percent. But yeah, <laughs> one percent or there. <laughs> The one percent of the black women go find themselves a white man, and then it'd be our fault that they be with white men. But then we can't be with black. We can't be with a white woman, cause for some fucking reason, I don't know why. Oh man, hey, you're not allowed to say that because you married a white woman. So <laughs> you're right. I did.
But I'm allowed to be with a white woman. You don't know why? Because half of these black women want a goddamn drug dealer. Oh, man. And then again, I really can't put up with black women my damn self anyway. So, shit, fuck all that shit. Yeah, mm. You married the enemy, sir. <laughs> fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't. Can't do nothing about it, bro. <laughs> oh, and I get more shit because I dated the Chiquita Bananas, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> man, I love. I don't mind Chiquita Bananas either. At least they know how to. At least they know how to treat a man right. Shit, yeah, they can cook me some tamales, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, black women, they just take your ass to Frenchies. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know what Frenchies is. It's a chick. It's a chicken joint. Right, shit <laughs> like is a trash. big chicken joint. <laughs> that shit is trash. But to the main video that we actually came here to commentate on. <laughs> like, we ain't even in the main video yet. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, it's just, bro, this nigga Umar Johnson be pissing me off, bro. And then before I even start the video, I just want you to look at how dusty this Negro is, right? He got these fucking dusty ass twist in his head and then he got some kind of lint shit if you can see where my mouse is like what the fuck is that what the fuck is that like bro this nigga got a nappy ass beard nappy ass hair like bro stop this like bro umar don't want to fuck with me in real life i will roast this man to oblivion <laughs> like bro the fuck this nigga look like the fucking lint trap when i fucking clean my dryer bro like what the fuck is this <laughs> oh fucking hell right that nigga just Bro, that nigga on that dumb shit, bro. Hey, man. And he looked like that nigga from the cotton fields, bro. Like, shit. Yeah, shout out to uh, Umar. Um, yeah, one maybe one day you'll get good hair like mine. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Maybe. You know, you see these nice, sexy curls. Maybe, maybe one day, if you take care of your shit, maybe you'll have nice hair like me. I know all niggas can't have good hair like me, but, you know, it is what it is. Bro. <laughs> Like this nigga, he his hair is damn near close to a Pookie and Ray Ray type nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Oh man, he no, he, he, riding, he riding on the edge of Pookiness. Nigga look like he got a whole ant field, just uh, ant pile, a whole bunch of ants is having a meeting on top of his shit. Ah, like a bunch of spiders having a meeting. You gotta you gotta quote the movie right, PJ. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Like you gonna quote Friday, you gotta quote it right. That movie is legendary. You can't be misquoting Friday. Yeah, hell yeah. That movie is the gospel amongst black folks. But anyway, let's play the video. Speaking of that, um, you know, I seen a video of your of yours where you said that feminism has conditioned black women to view black men as the enemy. Um, Before they even say their piece, do you agree or do you disagree? Fuck no, I don't. Bro, wait. Has feminism conditioned black women to view black men as the enemy? Fuck no. What? You disagree? Wait, 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 wait. I gotta read their whole right again. Take your time. Oh yeah, no, I, I agree, I agree, I agree. <laughs> I was like, hold on, I think you, I think you misreading it. <laughs> I had to read, I had to read that whole again, nigga. <laughs> oh man. Um, it has. Feminism was financed by the CIA. Uh, Gloria, what was her name? Gloria Steinem, I think she was. Right. Yeah. Mother of modern feminism, because. Uh, traditional feminism goes back to the 1800s, right? With Susan B. Anthony and those uh, white supremacists. But Gloria Steinem was a CIA agent. They financed her. Her first feminist magazine they paid for. Mm. The CIA brought feminism into the white household to get the woman out the house and into the black household to turn the black woman against the black man. And the great thing is, I'm not even arguing with that point right there. Like, I'll give him a round of applause, right? I'll give Dr. Umar Johnson a round of applause. That's like one of the points that I didn't mind right there. That's one point I told you I didn't mind, but then I, I just, the rest, he just lost me when he went left on that dumb shit. Oh, don't worry. We about to get into it. Mm. Mm -hmm. To scapegoat us for problems caused for her by white supremacy. So, you know, obviously, you know, a big thing, obviously, we, we spoke about the, the gender wars, you know, earlier. Um, obviously, there's a lot of conversation nowadays about, you know, the value of what a woman brings in, the value of what a man brings in a relationship. And now there's a lot more rhetoric from our women that we hear is I'm strong, independent. I don't need no man. Right. So that's, just, that's pain speaking. Though, right. Because most black women know they will never get a man. A black woman can have sex whenever she wants. Right. Be OK. OK. Any woman can have sex whenever she wants. Like all you got to do as a woman to get sex is be breathing. <laughs> like, let's keep it a buck. Uh if like, you have a pulse ass, nigga. <laughs> and you are a female, you can get laid. <laughs> that shit is like Oprah. Get, it don't you matter what, some dick. what race it is. You can get some dick. You can get some dick. All y'all bitches can get some dick. 
Like, like it just, it just, the women can choose what dick they want, to be honest with you. It's just, I, that nigga dumb. Like, talking about certain races can only do certain things. No, nigga, like, any female in this motherfucking world and us as men just going, like, it's hard for us to get coochie because, like, the women are in control of this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's up to the woman to, like, literally just be like, all right, I'm about to lay down and have sex with this A, such A, such B, you know what I'm saying? With, with either one, they pick and choose. But, like, fuck no. This nigga talking about women, you know, that nigga dumb. Any woman can go out there and get dick. If you fit the chick's type, you can get laid. So, guys, take notes. Just pretend to be the dude you know she wants. And chances are, you will probably get laid. I'm not saying it's a good strategy, especially out here in uh, 2023 when uh, chicks is trying to trap dudes with kids and put them on child support and all this other weird shit. But to each his own. <laughs> she can have a bed mate. But to have a soulmate, she may never get. I have two daughters, 11 and 20, mm. right? My oldest would be 21 this week. Statistically, right? There's a strong chance my daughter could be one of those. I hope she's not. She could be one of those who never get a husband because only one out of four gets a husband. You see that? And then here's another thing, right? Umar Johnson got a kid, craziness, and which would mean he has a baby mama. Umar Johnson, why haven't you married the mother of your child? Since you're this- Is she a black woman? Because you're this perfect black man who can do no wrong. And then another thing is, why is your daughter probably going to end up not having a man? With you as her role model, you know, you're her father, a wonderful black man to look up to such as yourself. You should be able to teach her how to pick another man as wonderful as yourself. Right, Umar Johnson? You ain't lying. But, you know. I would think that, you know, having a father as outstanding as him, she would be able to pick another man as outstanding as him, but... Bro, Juwan, it's too simple, though. <laughs> hey, I can't say my real name on the internet. Come on, dog. Oh, my fault, my fault, Jerese. It's Damn. too simple, bro. Can't it's too simple. That's my fault. That's my fault. My fuck up, my fuck up. <laughs> bro, but what you just said, that, that what you just said, that's just too easy for motherfuckers, bro. And then with him... You talking about how it's hard for black women to do this and do that, but you end up fucking a black woman and having a whole black baby when you're just sitting there saying it's hard for black women to get in relationships or find a soulmate and yada, 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 which is also wrong. Black women can go find a fucking soulmate. It just depends on what type of nigga they want to go be with. <laughs> like, oh, the man. fuck is this man talking about, bro? He, he just talking. He trying to get the cash apps. Bro, fuck the cash apps, nigga. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> just talking nonsense, bro. That nigga talking dumb shit. He wants the cash apps. Right. He wants the cash apps. Hit the cash apps for the Frederick Douglass Marcus, Marcus Garvey School of Excellence or whatever the fuck the name of that school ain't is. This, ain't this nigga against <laughs> he he against he against interracial relationships, but don't mind talking about how black women can't do this and do that and yada yada yada. I I don't be getting. I don't. That's why I don't. I don't. Nah, that, I, don't I think that's listen. one principle he stands on. I think he le legitimately believes that black people should only date black people. He doesn't tell black women to go marry white men or anything like that. Like he stands on that. I mean, I think it's stupid. Why is I? Why would I, as a man, limit myself to one race of women when there are like I don't know how many races of women who are probably better suited for me than black women, but. That's a different story. It, day. It's it's what and, and then on top of that, what happened to is what we like or what we like to be with or whatever the fuck like what type of person we what type of woman we want to be with. Like I get it. I, I don't understand in the black culture of why why we have to stay with our own fucking race when other races don't mind. Well, besides okay, besides white people in the south. Okay, I get that. They them motherfuckers still kind of racist to interracial relationships, but other places in the world they don't mind that shit. Like I, I just don't, I just don't be getting the black culture. Like black people really just be like, oh, you gotta date this black person and only date this black person. Like my mama, my mama want me to be with a black woman and marry a black woman, and yada yada yada. And I'd be like, look, ma, that's not what I'm with. Obviously, you and your full black relationship didn't work out. Why the fuck I need to go through that situation? <laughs> no, nigga, I, I, I want to be with what I want to be with, bro. Like, the fuck? I want to be with somebody that makes me happy. I'm sorry. She's not black. She's either <laughs> white, 
Mexican, blue, green, where the fuck she is. <laughs> That's what made me happy. <laughs> like, oh, and I might need you to do another video with me, by the way, too. Uh, the one about uh, the boy Marcus Jordan and Larsa Pippen. Oh, my God. And then I heard about Michael Jordan didn't want this nigga dating uh, Larson, Larson, uh, Larsa Pip Pippen, whatever the fuck her name is. To be fair, to but, be fair, I was literally just in that situation. So I think I'm the most qualified human being on the face of the earth to talk about that fucking situation. <laughs> I was I, literally I that in that situation. same boat. <laughs> <laughs> I was in that si I read about that situation. I'm like... And Michael Jordan, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, you're, a, you're a nigga that don't like to help your own kind anyways. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, yeah, I might I might get you to uh, do that video with me. I might, I might. Depending on, like, what's going on, how busy you is, and all that other good shit. So, we'll see. No problem. But, yeah, back to, back to, back to Umar. So, when a black woman says, I don't need a man, that is a reaction to the reality that I may not get a man. So, why not preach? Because I understood... You know, you're, you're obviously against interracial relations when it comes to Oh, what the fuck? I, okay, side note, I just noticed this man is wearing two different Apple Watch bands. Fucking weird. So I'm not with black women. I'm not with white women. With all women. You should only be with a black woman. And you will say, well, if you can't find a good woman in America, there's plenty in Absolutely. Africa. So why not teach that same rhetoric to all women? Like, if, I do. If you feel I like tell you... sisters all the time go to Africa. So I then, know sisters who marry. I just, I just uh, spoke with a sister. She invited me to the wedding. She just married a brother from the continent. So, but instead of saying they, they will never I'll get married. I'll take sisters to Africa who married brothers they met right. in Africa. Right. So I think, there's plenty, there's I think there's obviously plenty of black men yes, and black women. So and what I also tell black women, if married. you're going to go get you an African man from the continent, right. you're going to have to understand that the way in which you talk to black men in America mm. will not be tolerated over there. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck is it tolerated? Because <laughs> you know them boys over there in Africa, <laughs> they don't play that. <laughs> African niggas don't play that shit neither, bro. And especially when they bring that. They bring their shit over here, and they literally be talking down on women like that shit. Like, like I get like, it. They raise what did you say to me? There. <laughs> but like them niggas, I I don't know, bro. <laughs> them niggas are a different breed, though. <laughs> 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 Bitch, what did you say to me? I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kill I, you and I bury I, you I, in I, the backyard, no, bitch. The, the motherlands. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, <nah>, fuck that. <laughs> I kill you I and I feed you to the goats. <laughs> that nigga oh, said, hell no. I got one goat and raise you another, and I bet I find another woman. <laughs> you go hit it with that Rasta Bamba clap. <laughs> Boy, like, eh, like, nah, nigga, like, oh, man. fuck that shit. I ain't trying to go to the motherland and fucking find, 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 a, uh, find, a, uh, find a black woman or some shit like that. Hell I'm no. good right here in America. Exactly. I'm chilling right the fuck where I'm at. And them niggas don't like me. I don't like them niggas for the most part. So it is what it is. That part, for sure, for sure. But it's not <laughs> tolerated here. That's what we're trying to tell them. Well, over here, I want to say this to us, though. Mm. Because we try to act like the way sisters treat us doesn't have a history that we are not at least partly responsible for. Let's be honest. Mm. The black woman has had to hold down the black house by herself, mm -hmm. although imperfectly. Mm -hmm. She's had to do it by herself since the mass incarceration of black males began in the 1970s. Mm. You Okay, let me pause it right there. Let me let me dispel that myth right there. She hasn't had to, but because we have so many social services in this country, uh, food stamps, welfare, WIC, um, and all these other craps that women get for free because they're struggling and they're women, generally black women will literally choose to have a kid, get on welfare, food stamps, and maybe even put the guy on child support so they can claim that they're strong and independent. We all know what the baby <laughs> what the baby hustle is. Bro, fuck that shit. Half of these women get be be uh be uh get, get having babies just to put niggas on child support at the <laughs> fucking time, nigga, because they don't they know that's an easy ass check that they can get in their goddamn pocket. Cause why? Most of these bitches don't feel like either getting a job or they don't feel like doing shit and and fucking. Hold on. Let me hold on. Let me let me see if I can find this fucking. This clip. I got a clip for you. Hold up, Hodge Williams. Uh, hold on. Like that. I, like, oh, how about this? My baby mama, to be exact. Like, is she? She? Why well, we? Uh, my first baby mama, the Jolly Green Giant. Fucking, we had a son together. Yada yada yada. And then we had a fallout because I'm shit happened. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna get a DNA test because you were cheating. So I'm gonna try to figure out this and that. No, nigga took my ass off of took he she changed his last name, didn't give him my last name, and fucking rolled that shit 
And then they see, you know, I put myself on child support, but then when I go put myself on child support, they talk to her dumb ass and her bitch ass put me on back child support and her ass still hit me up about child support. I'm like, look, bro, like, go find a job. You know what I'm saying? I can find a job. I got me a job and I can help pay for this shit. But nah, bitch, you want to lay up and make three more babies. I actually, one, two, yeah, three more kids and you still still want to depend on me to help you take care of one and the rest of your kids. Like, no, bitch, I'm not like that, nigga. Like, no. Wait, Go get on. your she ass. Had three more kids kid. after you? No, nah, yeah, she had three more kids after me, nigga. Four baby daddies. Damn. Four baby daddies, nigga. Yes. This bitch but like expect me to take care of and then expect me to help her help her take care of the kids. Like, no, nah, nigga, you got well, one of them died because he wants to go do hood nigga shit. <laughs> Ray Ray Pook. <laughs> Ray Ray Pookie. Nah, man, to go you do making that up, shit. man. Nah, you making that up, bro. Nah, that ain't No, really I'm happened. not. <laughs> nigga, nigga dead. Doing Ray Ray Pookie shit. <laughs> he went to go rob a nigga and then got shot. And then she wants to sit up here and talk about something. I got to stop being mean. Like, how am I being mean? I'm alive, right? <laughs> am I going to hurt going hood nigga shit? No. Because I care about my child. And I know I got a child that I got to fucking stay alive for and provide for, right? Yeah, no. He didn't give a fuck. So he he got, one, he got out of jail. Then went to go rob a nigga. And then the nigga that he robbed shot and killed his dumb ass. So with that being said, what priorities was important to this nigga? And then set third baby daddy. Beat the fuck out her dumb ass. But guess mm -hmm. what? I'm still the problem, though, because I can get a job and do this and still take care of my needs and responsibilities. But I got to help her pay for her kids because she decided to get with ain't shit niggas and have babies with ain't shit niggas. How, how is that my fault? Because you black. <laughs> You right, cuz I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is the black man's fault. But nah, check check this out, PJ. Check this out. Love check it. this out. Check this out. Hold up, hold up. Alright, so this is a TikTok. I'm I'm stealing this from the Haas twins. Uh guys, fair use. Don't try to strike my video down. I'm just borrowing this, I promise. If y'all want to do a collab, I will definitely collab with y'all because y'all seem y'all seem my right. But anyway. Uh here, check this out, PJ. Where check have I seen these guys before. They they YouTube famous. <laughs> So okay. uh, check this out. This is what Tyrese was talking about these women, man. Hey, baby daddy, are you ready for court? Cause I need you to pay your child support. Baby daddy, are you ready for court? Man, you stupid. Cause I need you to pay your child support. You thought you had it made in the shade, living with oh, your girl. I oh. said, yeah, got talent. I got this whole world. It, it, Sing it, bitch. And to have you come second place. Sing it, ho. <laughs> don't make me take. Hell <laughs> But she said don't make me take off the lace But she keep bouncing around The lace about to fall off his damn self <laughs> Bro All I want you to do is pay your child support Never mind I will see you in court Hey, hey. I will see you Word. in court Hey, hey. How about, I will see how you about in uh, court. Baby daddy Make your payment Stop making excuses Bitch, you crazy <laughs> How about, how about, hey, can you buy some diapers and yada, 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 instead of having to worry about taking a nigga to child support? Or while you bouncing around and cheerleading this shit, go take your ass and get a goddamn job and help you pay for your own goddamn child. Oh, you on TikTok, no. but you you on TikTok hollering about child support, bitch. Go get a goddamn job. Bro. Go get something to fix your goddamn lace front, because, bitch, that hoe ain't even right, right. <laughs> Put on right, nigga. Like, the fuck? Bro, and then the crazy thing is that how long have you known me, PJ? For about a good, probably about a good six years. And how long have I been saying this about black chicks? How long have I been talking my shit? For about a good six years. And probably you've been talking your shit before I met your ass too, so shit. Exactly. <laughs> so I need to get that nigga foe up in here. Because <laughs> that nigga's known me since the seventh grade. Up in here he known you the longest he know. And y'all niggas... And all three of us is the same when it comes to black women. So like, shit. So <laughs> when I've been saying this shit for years, and then you got all these fucking weirdos talking about, nah, nah, man, you you just racist, and no, oh, not all black women are like that, and like not all. You can't say all for anything, but when I say most, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. Ninety nine point nine percent of black women think like that, but I'm just making. I shit feel up, like apparently. I feel like the well educated black women are not like this. To be Bullshit. honest, Bullshit. 
Okay, never mind then. <laughs> don't, don't worry. Don't don't even worry about it. I got another video on the way. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> like, don't even worry about it, bro. It's probably coming out tomorrow. Like as soon as I get off work, I'm probably gonna make the video tomorrow. Don't even worry about it, bro. I got you. You say educated black women are like that. Don't worry. I got you, bro. I got you. But back to this nigga. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Most of our children are raised by a single mother right now, mm -hmm. and it has been that way for about fifty years. So when a sister says, "I don't need a man," because she couldn't find one strong enough to hold her down, or when you meet a woman and you say, "Sister." Well, yeah, they can't find one strong enough to hold them down because they usually overweight. <laughs> you are an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that I can't hold a big that. bitch down. <laughs> nigga, I'm 170 pounds. The fuck? <laughs> that nigga an asshole. <laughs> oh, shit. How the fuck I'm going to hold down a bitch that's 5'2", 220? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I couldn't shit. hold down. I couldn't hold down a bitch that was six foot fucking three and damn near almost three twenty. Hey, I ain't nobody tell shit. you to fuck with that giant. Hey, nigga, she wasn't that big until I until fucking she had she had bro. Never mind, she was that big. But then she was, she was losing weight, then had these babies, and then now like it's a wrap. Mm, it's a wrap for sure, for sure. And then she just one lazy ass pissing it pissing in the bed ass bitch. So. Shit. <laughs> Hey, come on! Don't, don't don't air out the dirty laundry. Don't air it out. No, no, no. Oh my bad. Come on, Shit. dog. Stall her out. Stall her out. <laughs> Man, stall out, Debo. <laughs> hey, come on, PJ. Stall him out. <laughs> oh man, yeah. nigga Sorry, just bro. clowning. Oh man, <laughs> this shit is crazy. I'm, I'm strong enough to be a man. You ain't got to work or you ain't got to pay the bills or whatever. Pull back. I got you. And she can't do it because all the other men before you mm -hmm. who disappointed her. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is black men, we got to be patient with our women because we created that personality. Okay. And then another thing. Um, yeah, I was literally in the Marcus Jordan, Larza Pippen situation, right? I was dating a chick who was 47 years old when I was 45. Or, I mean, when I was 25, right? Or 26. Yeah. However old I was. Literally, chick was the same age as my mom. Literally. A little bit older than my mom actually so i'm literally paying all the bills i'm paying the rent i'm paying literally everything at the time and then guess what she still try to throw me out because she thinks that i'm cheating on her going through my phone every single night tracking me via gps all this other crazy stuff hey i'm not gonna air out her dirty laundry i'm gonna just say what happened between me and her right but yeah so i don't want to hear shit about no you hold the black woman down and you pay all the bills and she'll treat you this type of... Nah, I, already, I did that. I literally just did that shit two years ago, bro. Miss me with the what, shit. What happened to women being independent? <laughs> what happened to... What happened to I-E-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T? -I -I -E 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 you know what that mean? What? I mean, like, I was independent for a bit, and then I fell into the trap of, you should move in. Yeah, that was just a trap to get me to pay some fucking rent. Because, <laughs> mm, nigga, she can't pay her own goddamn shit, apparently. Shit, oh, the fuck? Man. That shit was crazy. All right. Never again. And then Never what again. he talking about, he always saying it's our fault that women are like this. Like, nah, nigga, like, they're their own people. Exactly. Like They have free will. I didn't know. Hey, Jerice, can you control what other people do? I don't okay. think you can. To an extent. To an extent, but you don't make them niggas go out and buy. You don't break up with a bitch and then you be like, hey, go be a hoe. And then she go be a hoe and go fuck Tom, Dick, and Harry. And then she wind up with Tom, Dick, and Harry babies. And then that's Jerry's fault because Jerry's didn't want to be with the bitch or some shit. Like, no, nigga, you, bitch, you decide. Almost every woman that gets out of a relationship wants to go hoe around and go do some shit. Am I lying? No, nah, you're not. And, you know, to be fair, you also have to add the context that, um, you gotta remember, PJ, I'm a square, I'm a lame, I'm a nerd, I ain't got no game, all this other weird shit. I watch anime, I play video games, I go to work, go home. So I'm not desirable by the vast majority of women. So, yeah. Especially black Yeah, females. because you, because you don't, you ain't going out and selling drugs and having a fucking criminal record a mile long. Like, <laughs> And that's what these women be wanting nowadays is one that shit. Like, that's why I hop my ass into the rave community with women that don't mind being loved and wanting other things and shit. Like, I had to switch communities because shit, nigga, like, the other community, that's all they fucking want, bro. They either want a nigga that will whoop their ass almost every goddamn day or fucking 
treat them like a fucking doormat. Like, no, the fuck. And then I will, I will be fair. I will be fair. The last black chick I was trying to talk to a little bit, she did, she she wasn't really into the thug, like the thug dudes, but she was into the the Cali swag dudes. So you you know what that is. So like I was just talking to her, and then she mentioned something about like dudes from California, how they got a certain swag, and then she did like a little lick lip, and I was like, like I was like, no, no, no. I was like, well, I'm definitely not your type because I definitely do not look like a California dude. So. Bro, and like, and I don't, I get it. Like, some women had the types, but like, don't be calling us squares that that just don't mind playing a video game all goddamn day, fucking what working a nine to five, <laughs> like the normal, like the norm that we're supposed to do, or like watch anime, like the nerds, like. Women really don't want to be with a nerd because I guess they're squares and they don't want to be treated right. I guess because I don't know what nerdy ass nigga is gonna treat a bit to treat a female like they're dirt or some shit. Like I'm damn near on the verge of that. Like I play video games, watch a little anime here. I'll go rave with the white folks and go chill with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, but then well, again, well, you can't you the, can't call them niggas because you know they white. You gotta call them crackers. Oh my fault! My fault! My fault! My <laughs> fault! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. My, my, my white brethren, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. <laughs> the good old white man. Praise white Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get my uncle Ruckus on. <laughs> like, I don't like the racist white people, but the white people that really are accepting of black black people, I don't mind them people. They really be like, hey, Tyrone, come over here and have some fun with us. You know what I'm saying? Like, no problem, bro. And then on top of that, you get in cop trouble. They be like, I don't think my nigga Tyrone did that. You know what I'm saying? I only know him for about a good three weeks, but I know he didn't do that. Bruh. Let's let's work this shit out. <laughs> I feel like in today's day and age, you don't even have to say like you don't mess with the racist white people because like let's be honest, most of the white people you meet, they chill as fuck. Yep, bro, bro. We in the south, we in the south south, and I have never had a fucking bad quote-unquote racist notice the air quotes white experience like i've never seen it felt it it's never happened to me i've never had a white person go hey boy what the fuck doing over here fucking jig boo like that that shit don't happen like they want you to think it happens me neither like my mama said i i experienced it one time but that was only because i was i was a little kid and i was playing with uh i was playing with a white kid on the on the, uh at the park or whatever and like we were playing yada 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 but it wasn't even the kid that was being racist it was the parent and the parent didn't want him playing with a black kid and yada 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 and then like but i never really fully experienced that shit myself like i guess it was just on some other shit now there do be them weirdos them weird white people that be on a video game that if you beat oh, their yeah. ass they be you got damn yada 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 oh, yeah. the, the yada, modern yada. warfare 2 lobbies fire <laughs> yes <laughs> Fire, yes. my guy, yes. fire. <laughs> I miss those days. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, Chief. I miss those days. You go freaking 25 and know you get a new Modern Warfare 2. Nigger. <laughs> <laughs> you niggers. <laughs> what oh, are you doing? You're, 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 you're. I'm like, damn, bro. All I did was kill you. But now I gotta be a nigger to like your ass. <laughs> okay. Bro, <laughs> those were the good old days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right, let's get back into it. We created that. And then we, we want to act like we didn't play a role. Okay. We have to be and held accountable for their poor selection. No, you have to be held accountable. No, you have to be held accountable because they have a poor selection. And then, uh, yeah, that's why I played the video at the very start or played that clip at the very start because it's not our fault that they literally go into freaking prisoner websites and getting niggas straight out the pen. Like, we can't stop that. <laughs> and on top of that, like, I was watching this one show with my uh, with Brittany or whatever. It's called um, Married at the Lockup or whatever. And these women are going out their own way to go fuck with niggas that are in jail and go be with them niggas. But then when the niggas out in jail, they don't want to fuck with these women because, like, shit, they out in the real world now. Yeah, 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 nigga, out they want. But then, I don't know, bro. Like, women personally don't mind being pen pals. And I don't understand why. What 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 a nigga in jail gonna do for you that you gonna have to take care of? Like hey. I don't get that shit. Like this nigga, 
He gonna have to help this nigga get a job. He gonna have to get this nigga a phone. He gonna have to take this nigga shopping because he ain't got shit. The nigga can probably, if he done did some bad shit to where he can't really get a job, he gonna have to foot the goddamn bill. And I don't, and I don't understand why like, women put themselves through that shit, but can't go find an ordinary guy. Like, like hey, baby. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you, you know who Fleece Johnson is, right? Yeah. Yeah, Booty Warrior. You heard he's out, right? No, nah, he is? Yeah, he's out. And guess what? He's married to a woman. Oh, man. I got I to I send you the clip. I got to send you the clip. He's married but to wasn't a woman. But booty, wasn't booty more important than water? Yeah, yeah, booty more important than food. I mean, uh, he's still getting booty from his wife, I think. But he came out and he did an interview and he said he missed clapping man butts. <laughs> Boy, that man was locked up for a while, so he ain't had no choice but to clap man. But but I would not miss that. <laughs> he said he yeah, misses huh? it, bro. I'm going to send you the clip after this. Don't worry. I got you. Here, let's try to make it to the five-minute mark of this video because we just sitting here nigga bitching. <laughs> yeah, but like, okay, yeah, let's go. Let's keep going. Because oh, yeah. like he, cause I, there's more parts of this video where he was talking out his ass to where I'm like, no, bitch, like, it's not our black man fault. Because then, yeah, keep going. Oh man, I'm gonna have to title this video like something like I don't know, rated PG thirty or some shit. I don't fucking know. Cause this ain't my usual content. My usual content's way way more clean than this. I know you know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm way Bro. less of a nigga when you ain't around. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, my man Jerry's more professional when oh, I'm man. Man. <laughs> Bro, you gotta you gotta see me at work. <laughs> <laughs> bro i'd be in there with a button up on and some slacks bro hello <laughs> this is your reese how are you doing today <laughs> oh that shit is terrible but anyway see what you're saying you're selecting a poor mate and what i'm saying is they don't have much to select one so of course she's gonna end up with a poor mate and why is she gonna end up with a poor mate because we as black men are not raising black boys to be the men that our women need we are not they out there killing themselves right now what we doing about it Unemployed black males, what we doing about it? Pants sagging, weed smoking, what we doing about it? But that's the culture, though. <laughs> that's the culture. That's the culture. The, the fuck, like... I get called again, a non-black person for not doing the shit, so I don't want to hear this, Umar. <laughs> and then on top of that, bro, like, white people be doing it, Mexicans be doing it, any generation be doing it. Yeah, but so I ain't worried I don't about all them. I'm worried about the niggas that look like me, though. This is about black niggas. <laughs> I ain't worried about the other niggas. The fuck? You, you right. You right. You right. My bad. My bad. Because one, you know they don't get judged as harshly as us. Two, they're not portrayed in every single form of media, whether it be TV shows, movies, fucking music, as that stereotype. Like, white people, they get to be country singers and rock stars and all this shit. Mexicans, they get to be like Tejanos and they get to dance cumbia and bachata and have their culture and all this other shit. But nah, black people, the only thing we can be is niggas. That's it. Or an educated lame. And, and we don't have to be. It's just niggas choose to be. So, yeah, that's why I'm worried about niggas. But that's neither here nor there. Black men are not raising black boys to be the men our community needs. That is 100% our fault. What I'm saying is she got a right to be angry with us. Uh, she got a right to be angry with us. We that. have not been on our job as black men. I if the men that. are the... Okay, and then how are you going to blame black men for this when black women are raising the kids by themselves? Literally kicking dudes out, trying to be single baby mamas, putting them on child support. Like, bro. Hey, yes, thank you, because half of these bitches, like I said... Don't mind laying up with a nigga and then leave the nigga and throw the nigga on child support when we like, bitch, we can pay the bills. You ain't got to put me on child support. You decide to want to fucking leave my dumb ass and do the dumb shit. Like, no, nigga, just because either that or because a nigga don't want to be with the baby mama no more because the baby mama done probably annoy the fuck out of him. But we can still be there for our child. But then again, maybe like, no, you leave me, you leave your child. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. no, bitch, I left you. This is the reason why I left you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, and Hi. then, bro, the thing that gets me is that when I say I don't want to have kids because of that exact same scenario, niggas will look at me like I'm crazy and say, you don't know shit about being a man, you a pussy, and all this other shit. 
like literally made a video today on my channel right now youtuber got mad at me because i said my generation or this is why my generation ain't having kids nigga went off and then i put the second clip of the live stream he did yesterday stating the exact reasons why i'm not having kids and it's the same exact shit i've been saying for years but i don't know i guess he was upset that i came to that conclusion on my own years ago like and these niggas are just playing catch up to be honest <laughs> Bro, cause it's just, oh god, bro, this shit been going on since like the eighties. I'm saying, like, the shit happened to my eighties, nineties, like, bro. Like, what? I mean, I'm not like, saying he's completely innocent, cause you know he got remarried and he was just like, you know, kind of. He could have been talking to me, but you know, it is what it is, cause my cell phone number like hasn't my, changed. My real dad is was a hoe to begin with. Like, when he found out that my mom was pregnant with me. He didn't want nothing to do with my mama and none of that shit. And, like, he was just on his own fucking shit still because that nigga got, like, eight other kids or well, seven other kids besides me. I'm the baby. But oh, he so didn't want nothing to nigga, do with nigga. my ass until, until, like, until, like, my mama decided to put him on child support. Like, my mama was taking care of me for a while until, like, he start, kept doing his fuckery. And then, like, yeah, she decided to put that nigga on child support. Hell, my grandfather is the reason why I have my daddy last name. My my mama was gonna name me, uh, give me my uh, grandfather's last name, but he she was like, no, don't do that to him, and yada yada yada, like do this and do that. I'm like, bro, I wish I was able to talk then. I'm like, you shut up, grandfather. He's not <laughs> even around here. <laughs> like, Jeez. and then my dad was just a piece of shit. Like he ain't only he ain't hit me up until this nigga was on his deathbed. <laughs> Damn. Until uh, he was uh, like literally about to die, and then he wanted to try to be a father and shit, knowing that he was about to die, and then yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, so your dad was on some like legit, legit nigga, nigga shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like legit, legit nigga shit. So like, how the fuck? Like, there is some, some, there is some dads that act like that, but like majority of the niggas, I'm sure majority of the black men don't mind want to be in their sons' lives. It's just the mom that we have to deal with sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and you can say we because, again, you got kids, so I don't, I don't know nothing about that life. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, pl I like play stepdaddy, my... though, and you know it. Like, you know like, I play stepdaddy. <laughs> like, with my, well, like with my youngest daughter and me and, his, me and, uh, me and her mother, all I got to say is, hey, I'm coming to pick up Marley, such and such, such. Uh, all she's going to ask is how long you going to keep it for? Uh, probably about a week. Okay. That's about it. The other mamas, why? How long are you gonna be? I gotta be there. I gotta do this. No, bitch. I can bomb my. I can bomb my child without your dumbass. Because then you gonna want to intervene, open your big ass mouth, yada yada yada, and we can't bond because you won't sit there and shut the fuck up. Then <laughs> mind your goddamn business. Like I gotta be there for my son and try to raise him to be that way. But no, nigga, like I can't do that shit when his mama want to keep babying the fuck out of him. Like no, nigga, like. He yeah, literally no. ain't gonna know his own culture because his mama and his grandma. That's it. Marley gonna know her culture for sure, for sure. Because for one, her mama like niggas. So oh, God, Marley no. gonna know the Marley no. gonna know the black culture. <laughs> I'm sorry, like <laughs> save save her now, PJ. Tell her to get with a white man. <laughs> <laughs> I will try to <laughs> <laughs> just be like, just sit it down one day and be like, baby, whatever you do, don't get with a nigga. <laughs> don't, get with, don't get with a nigga. At least get with like an educated nigga that got degrees. Just get with a, just with get a, with a dude that play video games and watch anime. You'll be all right. There you go. <laughs> and make sure he actually have a high school diploma, not no GED. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> All right, you yeah. gotta help this nigga get an education, baby. He's not the one. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure he's not a drug dealer or a scammer. <laughs> or a scammer or it is or that. Oh, like, no, or a nigga, perk like, head or oh god. But I, these niggas said I will take a perk head or a drug dealer over a nine to five. You, you this is what's wrong trash. with the and they want to blame us, like, no, nigga, like that's not our fault. Like, shit, that's the way they raise, like. And then again, like, I see, like, yeah, dep it depends on a parent, too. And then, like, I guess it do depend on the parent. But then again, once these bitches get old enough to actually think on their own, and I'm sure most of the people that got in the video are over 21. 
So they they know what the fuck they doing and what they saying. They just don't care. <laughs> they don't. They rather fucking go pop pussy on a car hood and shit, or at a stop sign, <laughs> nigga, and then they fucking go go get an actual nine to five or, bro, like. Women can't even be independent no more. Like, and that's the crazy thing about it. Like, I ain't gonna say not all women, but majority of the women. And majority of the black women, all they really wanna do is either what, be on Instagram, go shake their ass in the club on a Friday, Saturday, then go repent to Jesus, and then on a Monday, they're right back on the same bullshit. And then, let me stop being mean. I feel like I'm being mean, but then again, I'm being real. No, what am I doing? And then, don't forget, you got to look at the other side of the equation. All the niggas want to be basketball players and rappers and shit and NFL athletes. <laughs> and, and that's because and I drug think dealers that, and gangbangers. I feel like that's the way they can make money and get money faster and shit. Because then, then again, most of the niggas that go out and be rappers and be this and be that are complete dumbasses after they lose their money. You want to know why? Because y'all niggas didn't stay in school. Y'all niggas didn't decide to get y'all education. Yada, yada, yada. Nah, I ain't. Like, the only dumb nigga I know that raps, well, not even dumb. The only nigga that I know that raps stupid that actually got a great, yeah, got a 4.2 grade, a GPA, fucking 2 chains. 2 chains is literally, like, like, niggas need to follow his steps. Like, I get it. The nigga raps about drugs and yada, yada, yada. But then again, nigga, like, this nigga did go to school. My nigga did get a grade. He, he got two fucking, uh, what you call it? Or everybody be like Jay Z, nigga. Like Jay Z, then Jay Z waited till he was damn near thirty. Had he went to school for business, had some other shit. Niggas started rapping at a certain age and shit, bro. Like we can do these things. It's just in these days, everybody all they want is quick money, quick money this, quick money that. Like no bitch, go get your, go get a job, get a set amount of money, go put some money in your savings account, say that bitch, and then no nigga like. People would just be wanted too fucking easy in this goddamn world, and it's fucking ridiculous. Oh, man. All right, let's, let's, let's go, let's go. The providers? What have we been providing for our community? I'm not speaking you individually. Yes, yes, yes. you yes, may yes, be yes, a yes, damn yes. good father. You yes. may be a damn good father. You may be a damn good father, but guess what? What are we doing for the community? What are we doing for the children who don't have a father? You don't think the black woman got a right to be angry when she's been raising two-thirds of the kids by herself for 50 years? And the minute she raised her voice, we say she's not humble enough? I she had I, to become I, masculine to survive the rape, the I, molestation, mm. the domestic abuse. Are you telling me you can't see how I, we created that? I understand. Okay, and I, I, I can't do this. I, I can't do this. Uh, this is going to be the last part. We, we'll, we'll make a part two, I promise. <laughs> Bro, this man. But the rape uh, and the molestation and all that shit, let, let's just go ahead and get the elephant out the fucking room right now. That's because these fucking weirdo ass uncles, your Uncle Leroy fucking that he <laughs> Yeah, you want to come sit on your Uncle Leroy lap? You, yeah, you you know the nigga that be at the family reunion. You know. Yeah, I know. You know. You know the nigga that be fucking acting weird around the little fucking six-year-old girls and shit at fucking Easter. Be looking at him. You fucking know. But nobody don't say shit because, you know, that's just the way Uncle Leroy is. Shout no, bitch, is not the way Uncle Leroy is. I need to whoop Uncle Leroy ass so that nigga act right. But no, for real though, like we just not gonna pretend like a lot of black people don't have that type of uncle in their fucking family and they just fucking idly sit by while that nigga's fucking doing the fuck shit. Like we, we not gonna pretend like the shit don't fucking happen. We know what it is, but if you say something about it, nah, we ain't supposed to say nothing because one, we don't want white people to know our dirty laundry and two, why would you say that? Like nigga, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like... Get the fuck, nigga. If we can know about the white people and they dirty laundry, nigga, niggas can know about our dirty ass laundry. Oh, because man. they really want to make it seem like, like, it, okay, it is, okay, maybe because I guess niggas are low key about the shit, but it's hard to really, I don't know, like, I never really hear so many stories about black men raping their kids or raping this or doing that to underage kids. But, like, there is some, a fair share of niggas because I was in jail with a whole bunch of niggas not too long ago. Who are in jail for touching kids and all kind of shit? And I'm just like, all right, you don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, bro, bro, like the shit killers. happens, but fucking for some reason, when a white person do it, they be like, yeah, that's what that's what them damn white people be doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> like, mm -hmm, right. We do it. We just don't like to say we do it because for some reason we'll think that it makes us look more like white people, even though black people probably do it at the same rate, if not more than white people. Facts. 
but you know it's kind of like how black people make up like what what is it like 50 percent of the prison population even though we're only 13 percent of the population of the united states or some shit like that you know what statistic i'm talking about highest prison population but we're a small minority of the fucking country why do you think you ain't fine bro good shit because niggas don't know that but you know and and niggas will blame the system but then again it's not always a fucking system nigga is is how you fucking act. You are grown ass fucking person, bro. The system ain't telling you, hey, go out here and rob some shit, or hey, go out here and go touch this little kid, or hey, go out here and go shoot somebody because the system done put you down. No, bitch, that's just because you fucking weak minded. The nah, fuck? nah, nah. The system don't tell them to shoot somebody because they put them down. The system uh, tells them to shoot somebody because they got disrespected. Like, that too. Like, nigga, what'd you say about my mama? <laughs> like, like, okay. No, I don't know if you know. I, I think you did hear about this thing about that one black dude who got shot up because he 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 put hands on his dude's mama, and then the the fourteen year old boy came out the car with the gun and shot that nigga up. Oh, but yeah. everybody wanted to be like, but this dude had daughters and he had a family and yada yada yada. Bro, no, fuck out of here, nigga. That that nigga chose to talk shit to a grown-ass woman and put his hands on a grown-ass woman so the woman's son wasn't going to stand up for that shit and pop this dumb ass. But okay. everybody want to, like, want to bring up this nigga's side, his, his other part of his life. Like, no, nigga, like, if he had daughters, he for he for sure know he wouldn't want no nigga putting hands on his women, on his kids, or his or on his or on his daughters. So what makes it better for you to go put your hands on somebody else's mama or somebody else's daughter? Yeah. No, nigga, like, bro, it's 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 your fuck. It, people fucking minds are just fucking not built right or whatever. People just want fucking excuses for their actions, bro. Like, no, nigga, like, you chose not to be disrespected, so you chose you chose to go out and go shoot this nigga. Like, no, nah, you could have just set the disrespect and go about your goddamn way. It don't make you a pussy or either that or bark back. But you ain't got to go out and go get a gun and go shoot the nigga because you felt disrespected. Like, no, nigga, you chose to do that, not the system. But here, here, I can I can see that perspective, but here, here's the way I looked at it, right? So, you have a woman. Woman is the weaker vessel, right? According to the Bible, yeah. according to science. Yeah. This nigga is a Chirac fucking savage. Nigga has mm-hmm. his pants sagging. Fucking dreadlocks all the way down to his ass. Fuck it. You you can tell this nigga fucking do some fucking ignorant nigga shit. So oh, before you finish, what city would you say the city name again? Chirac. My Chicago. Point exactly. So niggas know niggas are always caring in Chirac. So what the fuck are you go ahead and finish. But here's <laughs> my, here's my thing, right? So the woman is sitting there trying to argue or talk down or whatever the fuck she's trying to do with an ignorant nigga from fucking Chicago. Mistake number one. If this was my mom, I can can literally tell you what my mama would have done. My mama would have got the fuck up out of there. Because my mama ain't about to fucking argue with no damn Chirac fucking savage. One, we ain't even about to be at a fucking hood ass hot dog joint at fucking midnight anyway. You got me fucked up. (laughs) <laughs> that part. You got me my mama part. don't even go out. My mama don't even go out past ten unless she with the kids. Unless she with us over there when we're going out to a bar or some shit. Yeah. My mama be in the house by eight, nine o'clock. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. So first of all, my mama wouldn't even have been in that situation. And then number two, as soon as that nigga fucking would have fucking started raising his voice, my mama would have dipped because one, we know how ignorant niggas can be. And two, my mama would have known that A, as soon as this nigga would have said on my grandmama, or on hood, or on gang, or on the dead homies, you know some shit about to go the fuck down. Like, come on, bro. Let, let's not even fucking play this game. You're not lying. And then, she is licensed to carry a weapon, right? Mm-hmm. Why the fuck her little 14-year-old knucklehead got the gun? Because he was posted in the car, apparently. Like, because I mean, in I the footage. That, but why the fuck does he have the gun? Shit, I don't know. She's you supposed to have to the, the gun. If she's licensed to carry, she's supposed to have it on her. And that is true. He shot the man once, right? He shot Chirac Savage one time, and then he chased them down and then finished the Mortal Kombat style. That's illegal, sir. 
It is, but they gave that nigga a pass. They gave that nigga and said that shit was self-defense. Yeah, you know the reason why they gave him a pass, right? Because he stuck that woman like six times in her fucking face, bro. Like, no, it's because they didn't want to lock up a black woman, sir. I mean, I'm, I'm, we gonna talk about this later, PJ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna educate you, dog. I'm gonna educate you. They didn't want to like a black woman, but like, she literally was just in line, bro. And she was ordering food or doing something. And then, like, because then he like, said, You don't shut up, I'm gonna hit you in your face. So I ain't gonna should have been her cue to leave. The fuck? <laughs> she should have fucking. But you know, dipped. black folks, they gonna stand up for that shit. You know how niggas are half the fucking time. Like, n- niggas, like, you ain't about to talk to me like that, bitch. Like, yada, 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 yada. Like, Bro, as soon as that nigga said, oh, my grandma, she should have got the fuck up out of there because I don't know no nigga that play about his grandma. <laughs> like, bro, on my grandma, if a nigga say on my anything, get the fuck out. For, for get the, fuck the, out. Few, the few white people that watch me, the Mexicans, I don't fucking know if you just not black. If you see a nigga with dreadlocks that say in his pants that fucking look like he bang in the hood, if he say... On my, a family member, on the dead homies, on the on the set, on the set, <laughs> like bro, get the fuck up out of there because you're out. probably about to encounter some fucking violence. You about to encounter you uh, what what they say in the boondocks a nigga moment. There you go. <laughs> like bro, you're not about to have a good time. Like nigga, get the fuck up out of there. Like bro, I- I'm just trying to save y'all's life because I already know. As soon as a nigga say, hey bro, on me. On the hood, on the sitting, not, I'm gone. Like, bro, I'm about to be like Usain Bolt in this bitch. Like, I'm gone. <laughs> like, you saw how yeah. quick that old black dude got the fuck up out of there? <laughs> yep. Because he already knew. He was like, nah, these some niggas. And then niggas was like, man, why didn't the men stop it? Because they ain't trying to die because of this ignorant shit right here. Because then, too, also you and Chirac, anybody got a motherfucking gun in that hoe, nigga, legal or illegal. That's what Most I'm Most niggas in Chirac has them hoes nigga so like i get that the that's fuck like i up look in like dying for this too, ugly nigga, ass like, bitch i don't know and like and but then again like back to what he was talking about like how kid how we we failed to raise our kids and black men and yada 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 and this and that and we felt as men like nah bitch it's actually society tv social media nigga everything else besides us men like we can raise our kids a certain way it's just how they're gonna go on in life with the rest of their life on what the knowledge we gave them we can only do so like i told like i told my girl yesterday like we can only give you so much advice it's up to you to take it and roll with it and see what you do with it if you decide to ignore everything that we raised you on and taught you and and put in your head and you want to forget about all that shit or just throw that shit to the side and want to go do hood nigga shit, that's on you, bro. You you of age. <laughs> like, we didn't fail. We did what we did to provide. Now you're a grown-up. So, like, we can still do what we need to do for our kids because those are our kids. But at the end of the day, we can't fucking control their decisions. Cause after a while now, once once motherfuckers turn eighteen or twenty one, you can't tell me shit. I'm an adult. You can't do this. You can't do that. You right, bitch. Then go 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 do whatever fuck you want to go do. But if your ass get in jail, remember, you're an adult. <laughs> like your ass go do some good ass shit. Like I will weep for you because you probably died or whatever. I weep because my child died. But I'm in my mind, I'm like. I did everything I could. He just decided to want to go do hood nigga shit. Right. So, god damn. But, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up right there. Shit. Um, you got any uh, closing words, uh, PJ? Umar Johnson, you're retarded as fuck. I'm sorry, bro. And uh, two, you you on the black culture, yeah, you just dumb as fuck. I'm sorry, bro. Like... I can't stand Umar Johnson. Anytime I see his videos, I'd be like, bro, like I gotta click on and watch it. But then again, I'm just like, bro, why did I waste time doing this shit? Even though I could talk shit about this nigga on a podcast. But like, other than that, black folks, black men, black black anybody, it ain't our fault. <laughs> it ain't the black men's fault, bro. It, yeah, your own people. Just remember that. 
you are in charge of your own actions. <laughs> yeah, and that goes for the men and women. For the women, you ain't got to twerk and be like glorillas. <laughs> you ain't got to be on the pole, nigga, and pop pussy, nigga. You can literally go to fucking school, go get your bachelor's, your master's, and go get a good, good fucking job, nigga, and go about your day. Like, I got a fucking auntie who has no kids, went to school for damn near 20 years, and she is a heart surgeon, nigga, and she got the black card, bro, with five, ten, five to six different bank accounts, bro. Like, we can do these things. It just depends on what you want to do in life. Oh, man. And then for the niggas, you ain't got a gangbang. You ain't got to fucking be a rapper. Being an NBA athlete or an NFL player ain't the only way to make it out the hood. There's a plenty of options out here. Trust me. Us black men, we can go be like Tom or Mark Zuckerberg or some shit and go create a goddamn website and shit to make money, nigga. Like, bro, you ain't gotta, you ain't, you ain't gotta be in the streets like my man Jerry said, bro. Because the streets ain't fun. The streets is gonna, they're gonna lead you to two things: death or jail. Nah, Which one do you want? Nah, it's jail or hell. <laughs> oh, jail or hell. There you go. Which one do you want? <laughs> like, like, I'm sorry, y'all. Like. We may seem like we some dickheads, but it's the truth. <laughs> like, hey, I it's the kid. truth. <laughs> I'm like, an ET Jerice. hit, sir. Phone home, nigga. Jerice, did you? what did you want to do? Did you want to go be in the streets, or you went to go fulfill what you want to go do in life? I still don't know what the fuck I want to do, but I ain't never wanted that street shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, cause that we shit know never that looked appealing to me. <laughs> <laughs> that shit never appealing, bro. Like, nah, nigga, like... It, like, it may give you like an adrenaline rush, but then once the crazy shit happens, you're going to be like, nah, bro, I'm going to take my ass in the house. <laughs> like, bro, like even back in the day when my cousins was watching like Maury and 106 in Park and like all that nigga shit, like, bro, I was in my fucking room playing my Nintendo 64, bro. Like, that's that's the type of shit I was on. Like, I was never on the nigga shit. Like, right. Bro, Bro. Same here. And they tried to pull me into the shit. Like, they really did. And I just wasn't having it because that shit was boring to me. But- like, I tried the hood. I tried the, I tried the street shit a couple times. But then once I really see the shit happen, I'm like, nah, bro. Like, I ain't scared of the street shit. I'm just like, nah, nigga. <laughs> uh, I ain't trying to die or go to hell or go to jail. Oh, I-, I love my life, y'all. Even though I hate my life sometimes, but I love... I love being out in the free world. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like, yeah, getting locked up at 17. Yeah, that, that shit was enough for me because um, I think I told you I got arrested at 17, right? No, I didn't know, bro. Ah, shit, damn. I ain't told you, but that nigga Fred definitely know. But um, yeah, I got arrested at 17 uh, for shoplifting at Walmart. And um, yeah, I spent 12 hours downtown. <laughs> they put me in an orange jumpsuit mm-hmm. and everything. And that 12 hours was enough to make me go... Yeah, this shit kind of whack. <laughs> Badass, nigga, because when I, I went to jail recently, bro, for like, for about oh. three, four days, I'm just sitting up in this hood, I'm like, bitch, I don't even belong here, nigga, like, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even do nothing, bro, like, fuck. That shit like, is ass, bro, and then niggas brag on that shit, like, bro. <laughs> they do, and I was glad, like, when I was in jail for like three, four days, I was oh. in jail with some old heads and some young heads. The old heads was literally getting on the young heads like, bro, chill the fuck out, nigga. Like y'all niggas boasting, doing this and doing that, nigga. Like half the half the niggas, half the young niggas is the reason why we kept fucking, we kept getting shut down and we had to go fucking being time out and shit. Cause young niggas don't know how to act. They want to throw up. They said, I've been in jail like for this long and this many times. Like, <laughs> is that something really brag about, bro? Hell yeah. I can, I yeah. can. I can brag about how many times how many times I haven't been to jail. <laughs> or I can, I can like there's other shit to brag about, bro, besides talking about how many times you've been in jail or how many niggas you done whooped or because of your flag or because of your set and shit. Like, no, nah, nigga. Brag about you brag about your paychecks that you weren't worked a nine to five for instead of being a scammer or a drug dealer. How about that? Oh man, that shit is crazy. Brag about it. Brag about a, a week long cruise, nigga. Because when I be talking to niggas about that shit, I've never been on that. No, I see why. Because all you want to do is do hood nigga shit. <laughs> think, think, think outside the box, y'all. Because yeah, everybody used to call yeah. me white this and white that because we like to go on trips. We spend our money on trips and spend our money on vacations and shit. No, nah, I, I just believe that's like 
call having fun and enjoying life instead of being behind bars and not <laughs> and thinking that's the life. Yeah, there you go. Right, we'll end it on this. Hang out at the bar. Don't be behind bars. There you go. Bars. Right there and there. <laughs> bars. Fire. Yeah, let him cook. Let him cook. Let me cook. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all I got for this one, man. It's been your boy, Jerese and... Your boy, Rave Monkey, a.k.a. Banner, a.k.a. Your mama. I love y'all. <laughs> So I'm going to title these videos uh, something hella mature because obviously this ain't my usual content. This is more catered towards ignorant niggas. So yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to title this shit. But uh, yeah, I'll figure something out later. But yeah, I need to get this uploaded. But uh, yeah, with that, it's been your boy Jerese back with another episode of Real Talk. I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. I am out.